Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? What an awesome morning it is. Awesome morning it is. It is a Thursday, Thursday morning, Thursday morning. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad that God saw fit to wake you up this morning? Are you glad that God saw fit to wake you up this morning? He didn't have to now. He didn't have to wake us up, but he did, but he did. And I, me, for one, I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it because there are some things <clears throat> that he has for us to do each and every day. Did you command your morning? Did you command your morning? Um, I guess y'all wonder what I'm doing. I had written some things down on yesterday that I was going to just share with you for a minute. Just share with you for a minute. Um, but... Uh, can't seem to find it though. Can't seem to find it. But at any rate, it was um I was watching one of those um Darman's videos and it was talking about it may not have been him, it may have been somebody else. And it was saying <clears throat> if you've ever been rejected, watch this. And <clears throat> the story was there was a custodian. I don't use janitor. There was a custodian working in a gym. And he was he was cleaning up. And the owner of the gym fired him because he said he wasn't he wasn't cleaning up good enough for him. So as time went on, the jam, the custodian he had a he had a he had a passion for janitorial services and he started his own janitorial service. And <clears throat> when he started his own, the a few years prior, the owner, the CEO of that gym, he was delivering his office pizza. And bottom line is, your and I say this all the time, your title means nothing. Your title means absolutely nothing. Your title means absolutely nothing. You have to make your title. Don't let your title make you. See, that that man, he he thought because he was the CEO that he could, he could talk to people like that this small. If whatever leadership role that you have, you need to talk to <clears throat> talk to your subordinates or or your per 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 parishioner, excuse me, uh, as if they are a CEO, as if they have as much as you do. They may not, but you don't put your mouth and down nobody because they're not the same status as you. Because who's to say your status going to be the same next year? next week who's to say that your status is going to be the same because you say i'm the ceo i'm the founder of a couple of businesses but do you see me down somebody else because they don't have a business no i'm all about helping you i'm all about loving you i'm gonna love if i don't do anything else i'm gonna love you like like i'm gonna love you like god loves us like <laughs> I'm going to love you. So, you know, it it's it, rejection that that that's usually a hard word or or you don't want to be rejected, but guess what? You keep your hands in God's hands. They don't know who they rejecting. They don't know what God is putting you while they rejecting you. They don't want you to stand on their their platform because you're not good enough, but you more than enough. You more than enough for God. You're more than enough to carry the torch that he's, he's given you. you more than enough to hold on to the legacy that you have. you more than enough. So stop allowing people to make you think you're not enough because you are enough. You are, as a matter of fact, you more than enough for what God wants you to do. you more than enough. <clears throat> so I want to encourage somebody today. Rejection, it doesn't feel good, but don't wallow in it. You stay, still stand tall and be bold and say, okay, you rejected me, but God did not. Y'all rejected me at that job, but God did not. You reject me at that uh, uh, 
place of worship, but God did not. Stop it. Stop acting like you're all that in a bag of chips because you're not. You're not. Stop rejecting people because they're not. They don't have the same, same status quo as you. Stop rejecting people because they don't look like you. Stop rejecting people because they don't dress like you. They don't talk like you. Stop rejecting people. Because if you keep rejecting people, do you think or do you understand that God has the authority to reject you? But that's not the kind of God we serve. So if we don't serve that kind of God, why do we act like that we're going to reject? That, 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 that's, a, that's, that's a second nature, nature. When you have, when you get to be uh, up here, you want to treat people like they, they this small. You better watch yourself. The same way you went up, you can come down even faster. And, the, and when you come down, you're going to be looking at those that you, that you thought you passed. They they still elevating, but you coming down because you have gotten what? The big head now. Your head has gotten this small, this big, excuse me, because you are the supervisor, the manager, the minister, the preacher, the teacher. <laughs> and you ought to be just as humble. You ought to be just as humble. Humility is the key to your life. Humility is is the key to your ministry. Humility is the key to your success. Just because you have a little taste of a little taste of success, you want to act like you all that in a bag of chips. You want to walk walk around like can't nobody touch you. God can. God can. Yes, I, I've been rejected plenty of times here recently, but it's okay. It's okay because I know who I am and I know whose I am. Rejection. It doesn't feel good. But doing that, understand, you keep you keep going the, the way God is telling you to go. And before you know it, those that rejected you, they're going to have to come back. They're going to have to come back. They may not apologize, but they're going to have to come back. God going to send them back to you because they rejected you. And now, guess what? They might have to be working for you. They might have to be, bring you a pizza or two to your business, to, to your establishment. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God got it. God got it. God got it. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have an awesome day. This is a Thursday. A thankful Thursday. Throwback Thursday. I don't, I don't have no more throwbacks today, I don't think. But anyway, y'all be blessed. Love you, love you, love you. God loves you. G loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. God, thank you for allowing us to come before your presence one more time. God, God, we appreciate you right now in all that you're doing in our lives, all that you're doing in this season, God. We want to thank you just for just be, for being God by yourself, God. Thank you for touching us with your finger love this morning. Thank you for allowing us to, not only to, to wake up, but you allowed us to get up, God. Starting us on our way, and we want to tell you thank you, God. Thank you for allowing us to make it to our places of employment safely, making it to the grocery store wherever we have to go God keep us covered keep us hidden in your bosom so that so the devil cannot find us God God we love you right now we adore you in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen y'all be blessed